Is that red sticky still? Okay, thank you. So with typing pwd, we find out that we still are in the data shell creatures directory. And with ls, we can find out that we have these two files, basilisk.dot and unicorn.dot. Now we want to show. I want to show you how to use a Unix for loop to get the first three lines of these files shown. We do it like this: for file name in basilisk.dot unicorn. Well, that do. And now you can see that the prompt changes from the dollar sign to the bigger than sign. And this is the Unix shell telling us that we're not yet done with the full command. We need more. In this case, we type head minus n3 dollar file name and done. And what we have get is the first three lines of basilisk dot dot and the first three lines of unicorn dot dot, as expected. The way it works is that the shell takes the basilisk dot dot, and puts it in the file name variable, then goes on and runs the head minus n3 basilisk dot dot, loops back up, takes unicorn dot dot, second item in the list, puts that in file name, runs again head minus n3 unicorn dot dot, and then we're done. And you get this result. Now we chose file name as variable name because that makes a lot of sense, always useful. But you don't have to use that word. You could use another variable name, for example, x. For x in basilisk dot dot unicorn dot dot do head minus n three dollar x this time. Then oh, so I made a typo. I typed head n instead of head, and then the Unix shell says I don't recognize this command. Command not found. And it does it twice because we went through the loop two times. Now we earlier, I earlier showed you how you can use the arrow up key to repeat the last run command. And I can do that here as well, instead of typing everything out again. But then you'll see that the shell takes the whole command and puts it on one line instead of four lines. And this is the other way to write a shell for them, the Unix for them. For x in basilisk.unicorn.dot, semicolon, do head n, in this case, minus n3, dollar x semicolon done. You can try this to remember how to do this, but I predict you, you will get the semicolons wrong. Trust me, I've been there. So I would still start out by doing it this way. But in this case, it allows me to quickly correct my typo, and we're back at getting the first three lines of each file. Once again, variable name is uh, not um, too restricted. So you could also use animal in Basilisk dot dot, unicorn dot dot, do head minus n3, this time dollar animal, done. And again we get the same results.